eight weeks out of the USA competition, so this is my first run of pro shoes in the USA. Um, so I competed in the USA quite a lot as an amateur. Um, since COVID a couple of years ago, we've been restricted with travel, so I'm uh, going over to do about four or five shows for first trip um, to try and qualify for the Olympia, which is December later this year. So eight weeks out, yeah. um, getting tough here, feeling it, yeah. but excited. Good. And obviously you've only been here for four months, three, four months now in Dubai? Yeah, three months. Yeah. Three yeah. Months, yeah. yeah, so no, today what we'll do is we'll do like a little like, it's kind of bit because obviously, geez, what? Eight weeks? Eight weeks, eight weeks, yeah. Eight weeks, I'm like complete opposite end of the spectrum. So obviously I'm in a gaining phase, like, I guess like kind of the deeper point of it now, which is nice. Um, so pretty much today we'll be just covering topics on like sh shredding, cutting versus bulking really, from a female standpoint, from a male standpoint. Um, and honestly just random training tips throughout the session things like that but mostly we try and keep it around kind of a gaining phase, cutting phase, anything from mindset and things like that so yeah we've just got a little bit of work to do here. I got one call at 10 and then we'll head to the talk about kind of bulking cutting sort of thing get them confused ab add add ab abduction adduction so like add into the body yeah i win that one too competitive we have an ongoing battle who's winning <laughs> i said before steph starting on the abduction uh just a little bit more glute focus for her she'll run through her training and things like that why she's doing what she's doing um preps, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, we'll just kind of crack on with it. Alrighty, so because I am a bikini girl, we do a lot more glute focus than uh, what the boys do. So Brandon will be doing a lot of uh, quad focus. I'll be doing a lot of glute focus. So little things like putting my legs, my feet a little bit higher and wider in a lot of squats. I uh, will be targeting a lot more glutes. Uh, I always begin with some hip reduction, ab. Ab? Ab, yeah. <laughs> so I like to start with some hip abduction just to really engage the glutes to um, begin with before we dive into the heavier sets during legs. I flip my pie really did that one day. Yeah. I flip my pie really did that one day. Who's that gonna tell me I can't do? I can't do. Better be on time with my bankroll. My bankroll. Tall fat, no ball cap, no lip work. No lip work. Routine like clockwork, my wrist work. My wrist go like Flourish to cook, got no roof on it. I'm talking, I'm all in the moment. Everything lit, I don't miss. Tell someone get John on the last hit, the invoice is coming. I'm dumbing through sex of that cold ball. They egging me on, so I'm going off. I got them mad, I show off. They treating my life like it's no love. I never flex it, but my means. I spit the cream on my tribe, don't I? Don't bro me, don't know me, you not regime. So the one with the kind of my eye is on it. Yeah. Probably the main thing I find in a bulky versus cutting is just like being a bit more structured with your routine, so making sure you're going to sleep in the right times, you're eating, working, training, repeating every single day. So in off season, to be a bit more flexible, in prep it's uh, very, very um, detrimental to being in a routine. Alright, Leads are warmed up, time to get into some solid leg workout. Every digit that they beat should have laid. Had to find a way to get it. Know the season what you made. If I ever wanna dip, then I'm brink with the blade. And I'm brinking a blink on a brink of some dumb shit. Watch how I move, cause I know the I told you like genetic was sweaty, right? I just leave. Noticing everything that's coming in a lot more now. I think you notice it more, probably think, because I see you often now. It's like I don't see it as much. 
much, but yeah, you look more capped now. Veins, midsection, legs, it's all coming in. So, so a typical thing that a lot of people ask is like, should they cut or bulk? And in my personal opinion, I think regardless of where you are, if you're asking that question right now, I think you should cut. Most people have body fat that they can get rid of. So ideally you should do a little bit of a cut. Again, get your body in a very responsive position to enter a lean gaining or a bulk phase. The reason for this is that you ideally want to be in a position where your body responds rapidly, that you're actually, again, got baseline of knowledge as well, food sources, all this sort of stuff. And then when you're in that responsive state, you can drive the calories up whilst maintaining a very lean structure. So if you're thinking, should I bulk, should I cut? Start in a cutting phase and then think about pushing into a gaining phase. And then when you're in a gaining phase, stay there a lot longer than you think, for sure. Leading on from that as well, a lot of people think they need to be in such a big surplus for a gaining phase, which you don't. So you only need a little bit of a surplus progressively over time. So if you're just slightly bumping up the surplus each time after you keep adapting to each kind of um, calorie level, then you're always going to be gaining and you're always going to be maintaining conditioning. If not, probably better as well. So not so much just relying on your weight, but looking at your progress, how your conditioning is going uh, versus your weight increasing over time very slowly at a slow pace. Rebel soul child got a fist ball, I'm a respawn of ancestors and I'm blessed, huh? They are not him, tell him fess up, I get checked up, hella carefree, nothing scares me, hella reckless, yeah, I got next up, right? No, we not the same, cause see when I look in your iris, you likely to talk but not ready to ride, you do better keeping it quiet, my pen is ignited, my soul is enlightened, I like who I am but I'm biased, their palate is right on my drip as a fountain, I'm not like these regular guys, all of that. Uh, regardless of whatever phase you're in, that cut or bulk, you have to be patient. You have to be patient and trust trust the process that you're in. Like, a step is a great example. Like, I ask her pretty much every morning. I'm like, oh, what's your weight? And things like that. And she's like, oh, the same. It's the same weight. It's the same. It's the same. But she knows, as long as she adheres to the plan, every day, every second, she knows that the results are gonna come, regardless of what data shows. So, follow a plan, build a lifestyle, stick to it. Regardless of weight as well. Like, there's going to be days where your weight doesn't change. For example, the last three days my weight hasn't changed, but I know it's because of other factors like, A, I'm holding a bit of water because yesterday I had a little bit more salt. Last night I didn't sleep as well. I was a little bit out of routine. I had a little bit more caffeine, digestion, things like that. There's so many variables that will affect your weight and your weight, regardless if you're bulking or if you're trying to cut, it's not going to be a perfect linear. It's going to be little bumps along the way. But what we want to see is like the overall trend of your weight going down and, and your weight going up when you're growing at a slower pace. So not wanting to drop too much weight too fast as well because you are going, going to go flat and not the most ideal situation. So what you kind of want to see is a progressive nature of your weight dropping down over time. I always say between half a kilo and a kilo a week is kind of what you want, um, anything more than that you're probably going a bit too fast and you pull the reins back up. Treading water that they drown in, I head on a swivel, yeah. It's only really my surroundings, they keep it all the way a thousand. I don't know how the ground feels. Tunes coming off of the set, so with my heavier lifts, like comp more compound-y kind of lifts, I like to take to go barefoot so I can really push to the ground a lot more and get that bit more uh, stability from my lifts. So like with this, this exercise, like I mentioned before, like. If I want to make it a bit more glute focus, I'm going to put my feet a little bit higher. If I want to do more quad focus, I'm going to go a bit lower. So I kind of go either in between, about here. If I want a bit of quad and a bit of glute, if I really want to do isolated with glutes, I'm going to put it right up at the top. Yeah. <laughs> It's only really my surroundings They keep it all the way a thousand I don't know how the ground feels I like the city I've been browsing Treading water that they drown in I head on a swivel, yeah It's only really my surroundings Can't stop, won't stop Till I told the world when the glow trap Then I nigga dealt that it's so top Type of shit they hide in a tube sock I just skipped town on a new block But I'm still around, nigga just not Better hold it down when the crew drop Where I kick now for the crowd of a loop pop Let they come around for my 
my moolah Better run them out of town for they hoopla Queen, she a hunt like Mulan Everything the hoes with they were, but they just not They be right up in your face with a fake stop They be thinking it's a game, but it's just not They be thinking we the same, but they still apart We from joy through the mud when the flood stop, pull up Hey, I feel amazing Pyramid scheme, how I play the angle I send it to your girl, but I make a facelift This is your brain on the rich hey, I be hella wild, but you can't tame me Got the keys to the cradle with no cable Smelling like basil, yeah, I got the flavor I ain't got no patience, kept it with a savior I be on nerve, but that shit painful Look like inside when I serve, how that shit taste Trip a conversation, give them waves till they make sure the flotation It's outrageous, right just with the sound, but the finger raised To the whole nation, yelling out fuck 12 Till they throw me in the cell, but a nigga make bail For the young and rebellious generation Keep it all the way get thousand I don't remember how the ground feels I left the city, I've been browsing hey! Treading water that they drown in My head on the swivel, yeah It's only really my hey! soundness They keep it all the way get thousand I don't remember how the ground feels I left the city, I've been browsing Treading water that they drown in My head on the swivel, yeah It's only really my surroundings Last two, dig deep. Good, this is it. Make it yours. It's good. Go lower for the two. Woo. So with my training, I typically tend to focus on a lot of volume, so and keep it in the rep ranges for hypertrophy. So you'll never really see me doing anything less than a rep unless I'm trying to push a little bit of strength. Um, typically, if I'm pushing a little bit of strength, I'll go between five to eight reps, but you'll always see me doing like eight reps onwards up to about 20 reps. Yeah, honestly, I would rather her fail than me touch the weight, if I'm honest. Like, unless she was gonna, you could see her come back down, I would catch the weight, but honestly, I would rather her fail than me do anything. It's, it's horrible when someone takes that weight away from you. So I'd, I'd rather fail because that's what we want. We want to train till a failure point. So I'm glad she, I'm glad she didn't. So when you're, when you're sporting someone, all you really want to do is just like give them a little tap if needed at the, at the end of the, um, the rep range. So you definitely don't want to be pushing the weight up. You don't want to be doing the rep for them. That just takes the whole point of the exercise out. So just a little tap just to finish off the, the four rounds of the movement and then you're pretty quick. Get on the playground yeah. So many bags on me You would've thought I was like a spray ground Now they know I don't play around I can hear what you're saying now I just doubled up my flight now Coast to coast, no they ain't in town I get rich, watch, then I get a sick Okay, okay so for this exercise I'm gonna make it a lot more glute focused So as you would've seen Brandon doing his leg press His feet were a lot lower on the pad Which is gonna be a lot more uh, quad dominant But I'm going to go nice and high and wide To try and target more of the outside of my glutes um, Another variation I like to do on the leg press is keeping your feet nice and close and high. So keeping your feet close and high, it's gonna target a bit more hamstrings and it's gonna give a bit more of the glute projection going back this way. Whereas at the moment, we just wanna focus on the side glutes for myself. In my front pose, that's kind of where I'm lucky at the moment. Not so much in the glute projection, which is what you see in the back pose for I think bikini. Good. I've been going up now, see the top going down. If you didn't know now, know you know now. Best cause see the going top, you not really top. You keep saying top, well I guess you let the top. Keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day on, wake up and I thank God. God. Bad decision got you on, wishing you could say nah. My city giddy, you can yeah, get any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. Yeah. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, yeah. millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Wait, Amazon good. money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I've been winning, I'm like, why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need your boo, I style me. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Cardi in my ring when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Now I got a couple exercises to go, and then I'll be finishing off with some cardio. So at the moment I'm doing 60 minutes of cardio. So trying to change it up this prep. Uh, first time I'm not doing fast cardio, I'm doing it all post workout. So if I need to do it 
half straight after my workout, half at night. That's what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm going to try and do 60 minutes all at once. So as it keeps increasing, uh, it might go up to like an hour and a half. So that way, I'll definitely split it because I'm not going to do an hour and a half at one time. Um, 60 minutes is probably the most I do at one time. So yeah, time to tread. Yeah. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick. Someone get the money counter, I can keep a thumb in it. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick. Someone get the money counter, I can keep a thumb in it. Okay, I'ma hit the 20 off a laptop. In a zoom me and making money as my backdrop. Ballpoint base hit harder than a snapshot. I honestly I kind of lost track to be honest. I don't know how much we said or what we said, but hopefully there was just some little tips in there to just take, take away from like two different ends of the spectrum, cutting, gaining, things like that. But no, honestly, like nothing changes. Like don't look for this cutting program or this gaining program, whatever it is. Like it should just be your routine in your life and things like that. And all it is is kind of just going from one extreme to the other. That's literally all it is. And it's, we very much, we're a believer in like, we don't believe in maintenance. Like, yes, there is a thing as maintenance, but our personality types aren't maintenance. So we're either gaining or we're cutting, a sort of thing, or we're just having some downtime. I just don't, I don't know. I just don't like using the word maintenance. I'll let you, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably say the only time you want to be in maintenance is, for example, if you're on holidays and you kind of want to maintain your weight, because obviously if you're not training, you're not growing, and you want to be able to enjoy yourself and have that mental downtime. So yeah, besides that, maintaining while you're training is I see is a waste of time, really. Of time. So you can also like maintain maintain your weight, um, even though you're not maintaining, but like doing a, a recomp kind of thing, I suppose. So basically, you're growing at a slower rate while tightening things up. But it's yeah, kind of, it's kind of the same as balance, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like people look for. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's kind of like looking for balance. <laughs> it's kind of like looking for balance. I just. I don't believe in balance. I believe in kind of like building a lifestyle that you're happy with. Like we're very much the same. Our training days are the same. So we kind of work hard from like Sundays to Tuesdays. Wednesday, we have a little bit of downtime and we do the same on Fridays and Saturdays. Like, and that's our balance. But health and fitness isn't about finding a balance. It should just be a part of your life. So it's making sure that you're building the life to stay healthy, like to, to, to achieve what you want to achieve. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. If there's anything else? <laughs> yeah. And obviously, everyone's not as extreme um, oh. as what we are, especially in competing. So you just need to find what works for you. If it's macros, if it's meal plan. Um, all my clients, for example, I highly rec recommend, them to them, recommend them to go on macros. I myself know that I'm just such a structured person. I'm such a routine person. I just want a meal plan. In season, off season, off season, I go enjoy nice meals uh, with my family, family and friends a bit more. In prep, just pull, pull things back, focusing on um, reducing cortisol, getting sleep down on point. All the little things that add up. All the little things add up. Just keep plugging away, that's it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's it, we're done. We out. All right guys, welcome back. We are eight weeks out now, eight and a half. Not too sure. Um, we are finally getting on top of our posing with Phoebe. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the hot seat today. It's been a few years since I've posed with someone, so really keen to get my own posing assessed, so <laughs> let's go.
can sass and compliments you don't actually love. <laughs> so I love the way that you obviously like flattered, you look very, very confident going in and out of everything. So the main thing I can see is a lot of hand movement, which I like, but we want to try and keep it just controlled a little bit more so I can see keeping it around your almost like stomach area will probably be the best. So instead of bringing it out around up here area, try and keep it around here. So when you're, for example, here, don't bring it round up here, try and bring it round to here, so keep it around the stomach area. Just so it's down, yeah, it's just good. I can do that one more time, so we're here. Good. Try and take a slightly smaller step than we take the first one. So we're gonna here, good, good. There you go, that's so much better, nice. Good, that's nice, and then you can obviously move the hands like you like were a second ago, just let them follow. Flow. Try not obviously like I said, bring them too high where you have them so here it's literally perfect, so that's good. One more time from front pose. Control. All right, guys. I've got to do a little wrap up of uh, <laughs> I'm posing with Phoebe, but um, it was really, really good. So I haven't posed anyone for like three years, um, and I um, have very high standards. So being able to pose with someone and give me um, feedback on things that obviously you can't see myself when I'm posing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really good. So just like polished up little things, made it um, a little bit different. Just transitions and things like that. Um, just something fresh, something new. Um, so I'll probably see Phoebe when she comes back again after um, her show at the Arnold's in the USA. Um, so she lives in a couple of weeks and then she will be back. So we'll do some more training together and some posing and everything as well. Um, so today is a Saturday. So Sundays are my one day off. I have completely off training, off cardio, and off work as well. So it's kind of turned into our little, our little beach club day, um, where we can just um, chill out <laughs> and just switch off and do nothing. So we're at Train Beach Club today. Brendan's chilling, getting his tan on. Um, so yeah. Heats have happened this week as well. Today's exactly eight weeks out um, from our show, so I have to give you a little update shortly on what's happening, what I've changed, um, and what I'll be doing for the next eight weeks. So I feel much better. I have a clear head now, I have a plan, I have my vision, and I'm just really focused, and everything's going really well. So, some two meals deep today. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different on rest day on Saturday rest days because I've got uh, legs tomorrow so usually I'll start off with like um, more carbs in the morning and then taper off at the night uh, but then I feel pretty shitty the next morning so I'm doing the reverse today I'm having my first three meals as like no carbs and then I'll um, introduce a little bit of carbs um, in my fourth and fifth meal and then my last meal will be my oats which is usually my breakfast so yeah so gonna be a good leg session tomorrow. Okay, so this is a prime example of how to stay on track when you are dieting, um, even in prep. So we have ordered um, some clean meals. <laughs> so my next meal is chicken, pumpkin, and veg. So we look at the menu ahead of time. Um, 
and I knew that I could get some chicken and some veg. Um, I just needed to bring some pumpkin with me, which I, which I have, um, and some scales as well. So I'm going to weigh out my portions. Brandon's got a poke bowl, which has veg, rice, and chicken in it as well anyway. So he's not on prep, but he likes to stick to his macros um, as well. So super easy to enjoy life while you're on prep. Okay, we have Brandon trying miso soup. Miso soup? Have you had it before? Yeah, I get it all the time now. Pretty good. What did you say? It was like vegetables, right? Um, I, think, I think it's like tofu, chives. Oh, yeah. Something along is those lines. Is that what the white thing is? Is that tofu? Yeah, it's tofu. Veggie like, man. Mmm. You want to try it? You can do it if you don't yeah. get tofu. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's just carrots. Hmm, carrots. Good or weird? Weird. Weird? It's got a carrot salad with a citrus dressing. <laughs> it's got like. Is it like citrusy? Oh, or? yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a fan, apparently. Well, I don't know what it tastes like. It'll come to me. <laughs> I'm hungry. So we're after sushi for a little date night. Um, Brandon always has sushi the night before his leg day and he's got legs tomorrow. So we thought we'll go out um, and get his sushi for a nice change, have a little uh, outing for the date, date night. So I've got my my prep meal. I'm not having any sushi, um, which I'm cool with. I'm totally used to it. I just like to get out of the house and enjoy being social and spending some nice, nice time together. So this girl's got goals. <laughs> Waiting for his um, two platters of sushi now. So, and we'll love sushi. Alright, Hungry Man has his sushi. I have my oats, time to crack open. Let's eat. <laughs> 